Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshu Today I am working as technical architect at Adobe. And first of all, I would like to congratulate all the subscribers of Coding Decoded that we have reached a big milestone of 10,000 subscribers. A special video is in process. I'll be sharing a thank you note with all of you guys very soon. And I am extremely super excited about this achievement. Why? Because there are no clickboard blades on Coding Decoded, no fake promises, no uh, fake roadmaps nothing at all it's all honesty genuinity and the love and support that you guys have shown the association that we have built together as a community is truly commendable a telegram group of coding decoded it all talks about purity and genuinity when it comes to preparation and getting through uh, these top notches and i would like to thank all of you for the love and support that you guys have shown and uh, without further ado, I think we should focus on today's lead code problem, which is uh, substring with concatenation of all words, August 13th. Here in this question, you are given an input string S, and along with that input string, you are also given an array of words that have same length. That means all the words in your input array have same length in it. What do we need to do? We need to identify all starting index of substring of S such that each of that substring is equal to the concatenation of each word in the words array and it is also told that you can only count each element of the word only once. It, this also brings us to a very important point that duplication can be allowed in this words array. So let's try and understand the question by an example. So here you are given an input string as bar foo the foo bar man and the words array is foo bar how many possibilities of words array that can be generated there are only two possibilities one is foo bar and another one is bar foo so what do we need to do we need to identify whether these two instances does it occur in my input string or not it does occur the first one is bar foo and it occurs at the zeroth index the other one is foo bar it occurs at the ninth index and this is what we need to return so if you see the output then these are the indexes starting indexes of these two strings bar foo and foo bar that exist in my input string s and here they have provided us with few more examples so i'll be taking a slightly longer example it's not very difficult question although on lead code it is hard but i would say we can read this question in a medium category so without further ado let's quickly walk through the presentation which i usually do and let's get started with the solution substring with concatenation of all words lead code 30 and as I told, it's a medium level question as per me. And in case if you have any doubt understanding this question, or if you want to ask anything from me in general with respect to interview preparation, Adobe placement strategies, or referrals, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated below. Also, with respect to solving yesterday's lead code problem, that was find the lowest common ancestor in the binary tree. We have already solved that question, although I couldn't create a shorter video yesterday but we have already solved it in the past so for all those who have been looking for the solution on coding decoded must have got the solution right so i would urge you guys whenever you doubt that uh, this question is slightly difficult one or you're not able to solve do give a shot on the coding decoded youtube channel and i promise most of the times you'll definitely solve find that question because we have already solved more than 800 problems in the past which is truly commendable the consistency level is at its peak. We have solved more than 17 months of daily lead code monthly challenges. <laughs> and the credit again goes to all of you because you guys are, are my real strength. Now, without further ado, let's quickly go back to the same example that was specified in the question. We have the input string as bar foo foo bar the foo bar man. And the words added that is given to us is bar foo the. So there are two important things that are specified in the question. The first one is all the words have the same length. That means each and every element that is present in my words array would have same length in it. For example, here the length is three. Duplicates are also allowed. So that makes the question slightly complicated and we have to hand, gratefully handle the case of duplication. So in the first go, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a map of all the words that I need to look out for. And in that map, the first, uh, the key would be the string of type string and which actually stored the input word and the value would be the frequency. So this represents the word. So let me just write word over here and this represents the frequency. 
so let's write frac over here and this is of type integer so let's do that and here what we will store bar has a frequency 1 who has a frequency 1 and the has a frequency 1 now what I'm going to do I'm going to start the iteration over my input string so let's start the iteration right now I'm at index 0 at the starting index 0 the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a copy of my entire math so I'll tell you in some time why are we creating a copy of it but let, let's remember for now that we are creating a copy so we have the bar frequency as 1 foo frequency as 1 and the frequency as 1 again so let's write that up and let's start the iteration uh, what I'm going to do I'll create a substring of length 3 why 3 because the words are of length 3 so we'll do that and what word do we extract we extracted bar the first word turns out to be bar what do we do we check whether this bar is part of this map or not yes it's part of the map and what is its frequency the frequency is 1 so we will simply reduce the frequency to 0 and delete this element of because we have successfully identified this entire word in our in input string so this is gone now let's proceed ahead and we update the pointer to this position f and at, at f we do the same thing again we create a new word of length 3 starting from f so what is that word this is that is foo so we check again whether foo is part of our map or not yes foo is again part of the map we reduce its frequency to 0 and delete that element up because the frequency has been reduced to 0 let's proceed ahead next we see let's we let uh, we, next we update the pointer to this particular position and again we extract a new word of length 3 we get foo we again check if that this foo word is part of my map or not no it's not part of the map therefore we can say that uh, we haven't found a substring starting from the 0th index which is e which contains all the elements of uh, words that exist in my input array because we still have an element remaining which is the therefore 0 can't be the one of the possible answer so what do we do now we simply restart the process starting from the first index so everything is gone and we again create a duplicate map out of the uh, frequency map that we have created so bar has a frequency 1 who has a frequency 1 and we will do the same thing again and this time we will start from the first index instead of 0 so let's do that and when we are at the first index which is a we again extract the first word which is of length 3 we get a r f and we check whether this word is part of the map it's not part of the map since it's not part of the map uh, there can never be a substring starting from this index that has uh, that has the, the concatenation of all the words present in my input array therefore we simply abort the process let's proceed ahead next we have r and at r again we do the same kind of thing we create a word of length 3 what do we get we get r f o we check whether r f o is part of my uh, map or not rfo is not part of the map we abort the process next let's proceed ahead to the next string and this time we are at the pointer f which is this one let's extract uh, the word of length 3 what do we get we get foo foo is part of the map therefore a uh, free foo frequency gets reduced to 0 and since it has been reduced to 0 we simply delete that element up let's proceed ahead and this time we update the pointer to this particular position and uh, we again check uh, what is the next word in queue next word in queue is again foo foo, foo doesn't exist in my map anymore as a result of which th this starting index which is starting at this particular ref can't be part of the answer we have to restart again so let's proceed ahead and let's create the map again so this is gone we'll have bar with frequency 1, foo with frequency 1 and d with frequency 1 and right now we are at 0th index which is this one we extract 3 characters what do we get we get oof oof is not part of the map let's skip let's move to the next index we get ofo ofo is not part of the map let's skip let's move to this particular index we are at this particular f now we extract the new word of length 3 and what do we get we get foo we reduce the frequency of foo to 0 so we'll update it to 0 
and let's proceed ahead and right now the index under consideration is this one since we have found a word what do we do we update the pointer to this particular position at b we are looking for more words starting with b that could be part of the words map so we again do the same thing we create a new word of length c we get bar what is the frequency of bar in my words map yes it has a frequency 1 as a result of which we update the frequency to 0 and we again do the same thing because there could be more words present and we update the pointer along with it to t and we recreate a new word which is the we check whether the is part of the map or not yes the is part of the map and we update its frequency to 0 at this particular instance what do you see you see that all the words that are part of the map has a frequency 0 that means with respect to f starting index which is this one starting from this point till over here we have successfully identified all the words that are part of my input words array this means we have successfully identified the first answer index and this index happens to be 6 so 6 index would be part of our answer and let's continue the process again we recreate a map uh, where, wherein the map will have bar frequency as 1 frequency foo frequency as 1 and the frequency as 1 and the starting index would be 7 under consideration we'll recreate a new string oob oob is not part of our uh, map so we'll skip this let's proceed ahead again we create a new substring of length 3 oba is not part of our map we skip this next we have b and at b we redo the same thing and the first uh, word that we create is bar of length 3 we check bar is part of the map or not yes it is part of the map we update the frequency to 0 we again do the same thing starting from uh, this particular index which is b for this bar we update the index under consideration to t because we have successfully identified bar and from over here we recreate a new word uh, the word length would be 3 we get the we update the frequency of the to 0 because previously it was 1 and we redo the same thing the pointer gets updated to f and starting from f we recreate a new string the length is 3 we update its frequency to 0 if you carefully observe then you will see that all the words that are that are present in my words map have frequency 0 at this particular instance that means we have successfully identified the second possibility of answer and the starting index for this possibility starts at this particular b which i'm just highlighting the index happens to be 9 that means 9 becomes part of our answer set and you can do the same thing again for the remaining elements uh, that will be acting as a starting indexes and you can manipulate them as i have just done just done and you can check whether there are more possibilities of answer or not to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly do the same things as i have just talked over here for each index you will consider it whether it can be part of the answer set or not that's it it's simple mathematics the first thing that i have done here is to create an answer array that will actually store the in the starting indexes moving ahead i have check the length of each word that exists in my words array and followed by i have created a frequency map this frequency map will store the frequency of each word that exists in my words array and this is what has been done here over here now comes the core algorithm i'll treat each and every index tends to be the starting index of our final substring and what do we do the first thing that i did in the presentation as well was to create a copy map so we basically copy the frequency map and then we look create new substrings and we check whether those substrings are part of the copy map or not if it is part of the copy map we reduce the frequency by one and in case the frequency of uh, the substring that we have just created happens to be one that means uh, it is to be removed from the map and in case if at any instance we check whether the size of the copy map has become equal to zero that means it is empty we found out the first instance of our starting index and we add that instance to our ans array and uh, once we iterate over all possibilities we simply return that up in case uh, the, the substring that we have just extracted is not part of our copy map that means uh, the, the, the possibility really doesn't exist for that particular instance of i and we break from there and then itself and we redo the same thing the same logic by creating a new copy map so let's try this out
accepted 25 percent faster which is pretty fine with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for thanks for watching it and your subscription really means a lot to me thank you